Flips and Chill is a new budget dating sim now available on Steam. But is it like finding your true romance, or is it worse than getting dumped before the date begins? Flicks and Chill started off as a free mobile game that featured one scenario, and now on Steam for only one dollar you get that original scenario along with four others. The game is broken up into four different episodes featuring four potential couples in four different locations. You have one in a coffee shop, a dance club, a tango dance lesson, and an arcade. You have to successfully complete a date in order to unlock the next one, and these are all very simplistic and very short, taking you 5 to 10 minutes to complete each one. Of course, the things that are going to determine whether or not the date is successful are, of course, saying the right things. As the dates get a little bit farther in, they become a little bit more advanced, adding mini-games into the mix, such as a dancing one where you have to hit the prompts at the right time, or playing arcade style of games with a Donkey Kong clone or whack-a-mole type simulator where you're hitting various icons that look very similar to popular YouTubers. Each of these little mini-games function for the most part pretty well, though a couple of them had a little bit shaky detection and mostly came down to just pressing the mouse button at the given prompt. The most important thing in a game like this though is the dialogue choices themselves, and they're okay. There's a handful of them, and all the scenarios are playing off a lot of modern tropes for the most part. Heck, the name of the game is called Flix and Chill, obviously a take on Netflix and Chill. Though there was a couple of times where the choices didn't properly represent, I think, what I ended up saying, or my character ended up saying that I was playing as. For example, in the bar, there's one to humiliate a guy that is talking to the same girl that you're on the date with, and I thought that would meant maybe like throwing something in his face like water or tell them to back off or something like that, but instead made it a race thing, which was just a little bit off-putting overall. As well as it felt like there really came down to one choice, or maybe two at most, that ended up deciding whether or not the date was successful or a failure. Especially when I would play the same one a couple of times and make one difference as far as choices were concerned, didn't even seem like that major of a choice, and all of a sudden I was successful while making all of the other same decisions. The game, though, did make me chuckle once or twice, and for what it is, it's not too bad. The technical side of things, everything did run smoothly as far as the game was concerned, it didn't crash on me, though I did have a little bit of a detection issues when it came to my mouse clicks on a couple of the minigames, but for the most part, everything worked pretty well. Flix and Chill is available for $1 on Steam and actually does feature a full Steam achievement list, so that's something you're into. This game has quite a few achievements for you to unlock. Overall though, being a fan of dating sims, this one is okay. The one thing I give it credit though for is having each of the episodes different. It's a different scenario, different types of people involved in it, and different locations overall. There was a few fun moments, that is for sure, and for a dollar, it's not bad. There's also some funny animations as far as the overall characters themselves, whether it be them dancing or reacting to the different things that are going on. With all said though, I'm going to be giving Flix and Chill a 4 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching and of course I hope you enjoyed.